hello and welcome back to another nail video today we have another lovely review from the brand madam glam and today i will be trying out these beautiful pastel colors these vegan free gel polishes and i am so excited about today's video i'm going to be doing a spring set so i hope you all enjoy and starting off, I'm going to do some swatches. And the first color is Dusty Pastel Green. Already, I love the color. Um, the consistency of the gel polish is very creamy, which is nice. You can definitely tell this is a high quality gel polish. And that is one of the reasons why I love Madam Glam so much. Next, we have Baby Blue, and this color is gorgeous. Oh my god, I can't wait to use this in future videos. The color is so pretty. It's nice and bright, but still airy. Um, it's a very, very pretty color. Moving right along we have blissfully yours and i love the name of this color y'all know i'm a purple girl so this color is one of my favorites it's a nice pretty light purple and it will go with anything then we have beautiful chaos this is another one of my favorites it's this really pretty sheer purple with tiny little glitter pieces and it is so pretty then we have cream silk and it's also another pretty peachy color with little splashes and hints of glitter so nice Last but not least, we have A Amour, which is such a lovely name for a gel polish. And it is this beautiful coral color. And the consistency is so rich and creamy. It is such a good gel polish. These are the colors. I'm so excited to be using these colors in the video. And I can't wait for what I come up with. I want to send a special thank you to Madam Glam for sending over these beautiful gel polishes for me to try. If you are interested, I do have a coupon code with Madam Glam. It's Easy Nails 35 and if you use that code, you can save yourself 35%. And hopping right into today's video, I am starting off with this beautiful color, Blissfully Yours. I'm doing long, extra long nails today, as you see, and I decided to do a gel polish ombre. So I'm going to be using these gel polishes to do a gel polish ombre. I am pretty much doing each nail a different color except the pinky and my first finger they're both going to be the purple but on my middle finger I am using this beautiful baby blue color and it's so nice and for my ring finger I'm using this beautiful dusty pastel green um, and again, like I mentioned before, I am going to be doing an ombre for today's set. I will be using Beatles Poly Gel. I don't know, guys. I've just been falling in love with Poly Gel. Normally, I'm an acrylic girl through and through, but I've just been having a great time doing Poly Gel sets. So today, I am doing a Poly Gel ombre with gel polish yeah tongue twister i know but moving right along i'm using the dusty pastel green again for my thumbnail and so each one of my nails will be ombre in a different color so cute once i am done i went ahead and cured these nails for 30 seconds and then i'm gonna apply another thin layer um, that's one thing I definitely want to mention whenever you're using any type of gel polishes you want to make sure that your layers are nice and thin that way 
the polish can cure properly and um, it doesn't leave your nails looking wide or lumpy because your gel polish can leave your nails looking a bit different so you want to make sure that you use thin coats of polish to avoid any problems and after I complete the second layer I'm gonna go ahead and cure these nails again And once those nails have cured, I am using Madame Glam's base coat and I'm applying a very thin layer of this base coat to each nail. Um, again, I am doing poly gel nails today. So of course, whenever you're doing anything with poly gel, you want to apply a thin layer of base coat first before you apply the product. That way the product has something to adhere to. So you always want to start off with a thin layer of base coat before any poly gel application. And I am using Beetles Poly Gel. This is the color 181. And I'm applying a small bead um, where the tip and the natural nail meet a little before the cuticle area. And then I just use the tip of my brush to kind of push that product back towards the cuticle area. If you notice, I'm doing a lot of patting because I want to pat this product down. I want a nice apex for my nail, but I don't want it to be too big. And then I go ahead and blend this product down. I am going to be capping the rest of the nails in clear poly gel, so I'm not too worried about bringing it all the way down towards the tip. I just want to make sure that I have nice coverage kind of where the nail is ombre -ing. and looking back on it I actually should have ombre the gel polish up a little just made that portion a little lighter so that this blend or this ombre would be a little better but that's okay as I continue on and once I put the clear on top it does make the blend a little better and moving right along I just repeat these same steps on all the nails I'm only applying the pink poly gel to the top portion of the nail um, by the cuticle and the nail bed and I just want to make sure that it's covering the gel polish and it has a nice little apex one thing I love about poly gel nails of course, there is no smell, which is lovely. Um, if you do acrylic nails, you know, sometimes that monomer smell can definitely give you a headache. So it's nice to take a break, you know, in between. So another thing I love about poly gel nails is that you can take your time. The product doesn't cure or it doesn't dry unless it's cured. So you have all the time in the world to try to get it as close as possible to what you really want it to be, which is extremely good for beginners or anyone at home that wants to do their nails. Poly gel is a good option. Um, if you're a little slower, you can take your time and do your nails.
I know that I find that doing nails is very therapeutic to me. Um, I just relax. I cut on a nice show. Typically, it's like paternity court or couples court because I love the drama i love the cases i think they're so funny so i typically put on a nice show and just vibe out and do my nails it is such a relaxing experience um i don't know how else to explain it but i love it one thing i will say it is very time consuming so this set probably took me about four hours of course i did take a few breaks in between to you know grab some coffee and something to eat but it took about four hours um and these are extra long coffin nail tips it's by the brand amigo um, I did purchase these tips off Amazon, so I definitely will leave a link in the description box down below if you're interested in purchasing these tips. But um, I love these tips. These are like some of my favorite or my go-to nail tips um, because I just love how they fit my nails. I think they make them look really, really nice. But um so typically when I'm doing nails the this length it takes about four hours um, and even depending on the design sometimes it takes a little longer um, so it's good to just put on a show relax and vibe out and do my nails I love it And just FYI, I am curing each nail as I go. That way I don't mess up the nails or that the product doesn't move into a different place or flood my cuticles. So after each application, I am kind of like zap curing the nails for about 30 seconds just so that they're nice and firm um, so that I can continue on with the process. And once those nails are cured, I am using the Beatles Clear Poly Gel to encapsulate this gel polish. Um, so I just apply a nice amount of the product down the center of the nail. And then I use my brush to pat that product down. I want to make sure that the nail is completely covered before I try to get the product as smooth as possible. Um, and then I just use the tip of my brush to smooth out the product. Um, even though I'm not too worried about this blend here because I am going to be fouling these nails anyway. Um, but I do want to make sure that the nail is completely covered and that i try to get it as smooth as possible um so i definitely take my time like i mentioned before with poly gel you have ample amount of time so i take my time to try to get the nail as smooth as possible and as flat as possible and make sure that the nail has a nice structure once I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and remove any of that excess product off the tip of the nail and then I will cure this nail for 60 seconds.
And then I just pretty much repeat these same steps on all of the nails. Apply a nice amount down the center of the nail and then pat that product down. You wanna try to get it as flat as possible, but you still want to make sure that the nail is completely covered with the product. And then I will go back in and try to get the product as smooth as possible. Again, I'm not too worried about the blend because I am going to be doing some fouling later on. But I want to get this, as, this nail as smooth as I possibly can to try and minimize the fouling that I will have to do in the future. So I will just let you all watch and enjoy. Don't forget to leave any of your comments or questions in the comment section. I love whenever I get comments because I'm like, wow, people really take the time out of their day to comment something nice on my video. Um, I really, really appreciate that. So don't be afraid to leave a comment of what you like about today's design or if you have any ideas about different designs that you want me to do in the future, I definitely will be open to that. And these are how the nails look after the poly gel application. Then I'll go ahead and spray them down with some alcohol. And I'll just remove the tacky layer so that these nails are ready to be fouled and shaped. 
And starting off, I'm using my Melody Susie e file and this ceramic nail drill bit. And I'm just using this to seal my cuticle and kind of debulk the nail just a bit. Now, I don't leave too much of the fouling and shaping in this video because as you know, or if you don't, Fouling and shaping is my least favorite part about doing nails, so I typically don't include that much of it in the video. However, I decided to leave just a snippet so you all can watch and hopefully enjoy. Um, but after I sealed all of my cuticles, I then used my hand foul to foul and shape these nails and I am using a Melody Susie hand foul. This is a 100 slash 180 grit nail foul um, and I start off by removing the excess product underneath the nails and then I will foul each side wall. I will foul the tip of the nail um, otherwise known as the free edge and then I will foul across the top of the nail and I just want to make sure that the nail is nice and smooth there are no lumps or humps in the nail um, or dips in the nail and so I take my time with the fouling um, normally I try to get my application as nice as possible to minimize my fouling time, um, which makes it a little easier and a little quicker for me. And these are the nails after they've been foul shaped and buffed and I am pretty pleased with the ombre so far so moving right along I'm applying a very thin layer of the Madame Glam's base coat to each nail and then I'm going to cure these nails for 30 seconds I am going to be doing some nail art, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that. But I definitely have to admit that I struggled with figuring out a design for today's set. Um, of course, I went to Pinterest, one of my very best friends, just to get a little inspo. So I decided I wanted to do some swirls. I love doing swirls. I love my line work. Um, I just think it looks so nice and you can hardly go wrong with that. So that's what I decided for today's set. I'm going to do some beautiful swirls and then I'm going to add a little bling. And once those nails are cured, I'm using my striper brush and I'm using the same color polish as I used in the ombre itself. So I'm using this beautiful light purple, Blissfully Yours, and I'm just creating some line work. I know before I mentioned swirls, my idea originally was to do a bunch of swirls, but I changed it at the last minute. And I was like, I'm just going to do some really pretty lines. And I'm so glad that I did. Um, I love how the lines add depth to the nails. Um, and it looks really, really nice against the background against the ombre so i'm very pleased with this set for each finger i just did the corresponding color um in each one of the nail has like a different pattern of lines so that it looks symmetrical but kind of different um, and i love that 
I am so happy with this set. Again, I want to send a special thank you to Madam Glam for sending over these beautiful gel polishes for me to try. Again, if you're interested in any of the colors used in today's video, as well as the tons of other colors provided by Madam Glam, I do have a coupon code easy nails 35 which can save you 35 percent off your entire order And I am loving how this set is turning out so far. Next, I am using my dotting tool and I'm using this dusty pastel green color to create some really pretty simple flowers. I'm doing a couple flowers along the edge of this line and i'm so glad i decided to add this small little detail i really thought that the nails needed a little more so i wanted to make it fun and add some really pretty flowers so i am doing this design on my first finger as well as my pinky finger and once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and cure these nails for 30 seconds. Next, I am using Beautiful Chaos and my striper brush and i'm just applying a thin layer of this beautiful color over one of my lines and i decided to add it on top because this color is again very sheer but it's very pretty and it has a lot of glitter and metallic inside and I thought that it would be just the little hint of sparkle that this set needs. And I'm so glad I did. It turned out so cute. I went ahead and applied a thin layer. I cured it for 30 seconds and then I applied a, another thin layer just to get that color to really pop. Last but definitely not least, I am using the Madam Glam No Wipe Top Coat. And I love this top coat. It's very shiny and it's a nice thick consistency. And so I really appreciate that. I'm going to apply a thin layer of this to each nail. But before I cure these nails, while the top coat is still wet, I'm going to add some rhinestones and uh, some really pretty flower gems or flower stones that 
I probably purchased years ago and I am just now getting around to using them. And these are how the nails turned out. I love them. They are so fresh and so fun. The pastel colors really complement each other. And I really, really love this set. I, again, I want to send a special thank you to Madam Glam for sending over these beautiful gel polishes for me to try. As always, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next nail video.